I'm Adrian Smith at Guitar Center. Well, going back, the f I mean, the first bands I got into were uh, uh, Deep Purple, Free, those, those kind of bands. They're not the sort of songs you start playing. I mean, you, you're not going to start playing Highway Star right off the bat. So we played, you know, Beatles songs, Stone songs, simple stuff, really, blues, to get started, to make a noise and feel like we were making music. But, uh, uh, but definitely, that, you know, Michael Schenker, Gary Moore, all the gu guitars and Thin Lizzy, a massive inspiration. God, I mean, yeah, I tend to be fairly simple, you know. It's kind of chord based, you know. I mean, you got stuff like Two Minutes to Midnight, which is. I mean, that's pretty straightforward. But you got to play it right. If you're going to play it simple, you got to play it. You can't play it sloppy, you know. Stuff like that. I mean, Wicker Man's. Again, it's, it's, it's simple, but it's, yeah, you've got to play it on the money, you know. I like to put vibrato on chords as well. This is based on a model that was uh, built for me in the, in the uh, 1980s. I think Grover Jackson built me the first one there. Uh, I've been looking for something. I've been trying different guitars and, and been unhappy with them, and they came up with something that stayed in tune, sounded great, looked great, and, um, you know, did everything you need. Like a working guitar was, we did long tours, you know, and the, the, the instruments took a beating. But you know, with Jackson, you're getting a, you know, a quality instrument. It's it's very well made. The necks are true, especially if you're doing detune stuff. Um, and you're playing stuff up the neck. Um, you need the intonation to be good. And so, you know, whenever if I'm doing that sort of stuff, like you know, Jackson's a, what I go to really. It's got two single coils, so you got a bit more variation in sound. So you got a heavy sound on the on the on the bridge pickup. And then you can go to your, you know, your mellow bluesy sounds or clean sounds on your neck pickup, you know. So it's, it's versatile guitar, very versatile. You got a locking trim, you know, for live is absolutely essential. You know, you got to stay in tune. That's the most, that's the priority, you know. Um, and it's got the go-go bar on it if you want to have a bit of fun on that, you know. Um, it's got everything on it really. I mean, it's such a versatile guitar. I think everyone's got their own sound, you know. I think it's kind of from in here and in here, you know, obviously you have to have something to express it. And, you know, the, the goal is to uh, uh, allow, you, you know, your equipment allows you to express the way you want to play, you know, I think that's the most important thing. So, you know, as far as your sound, I think it's, it goes beyond the uh, sort of uh, wires and uh, amplifiers and, you know, it's, it comes from the person first of all, but they have to have the right tool to get to get it out so that people can hear it, you know.